guys, this, oh, I gotta turn the radio down. YouTube does not like that. Hey, this is the Midwest Picker. I'm on my way to go thrifting. Um, I got a tip on two mom and pop thrift stores. And they are, if you've seen my other videos, um, in my opinion, those are better than Goodwill, Salvation Army, the mom and pops. Um, they just seem to get better stuff. Uh, they aren't heavy in clothing. Um, so I'm going there right now. It's a beautiful day. It's about 73 degrees and sunny. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to film inside the thrift store or not. Uh, I might a little bit, but um, yeah, so I'll let you know what I find. Definitely do an unboxing video. May even stop and see a friend of mine, Dave. Um, he's got some fantastic antiques and collectibles way out of my price range. I might shoot some video at his house, just kind of an FYI. Um, doubt I'll buy anything, but the, it's, sometimes it's just fun to look at other people's collections and antiques. So, um, yeah, we'll see. All right, we're here. Uh, I'm going to go inside and check it out and uh, let you know what I find. All right, on my way to Dave's house. He lives right over here, close to the highway, so the noise level might be a little high. Sorry about that. All right, weather vane time. Da, 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 da. Oh, there's the base. Somebody had it mounted on a peaked roof, so they mounted it on, on this piece of wood. Yeah. And then, uh, Here's your east-west. You can figure it out. That goes there. And there's the other half. And then that's the top. And then that goes right on there. So when the wind blows, it spins free like that. So those, those mount permanent. Those don't move, but the horse moves. Then there's a bolt down here that's adjustable so it's not angled if you don't want it angled. This is Dave's ride. 1200 cc? Nice. What kind of exhaust pipes are those? They're not the old, the drag pipes that are super loud? I can't put that on YouTube. That is the biggest wrench I've ever seen. How much does that weigh? Uh, 10 pounds? You should keep that in your car in case somebody tries to carjack you. 8 pounds. At least 8. Oh my gosh. 8 to 4 pounds. We need something for reference so you have to stand right there. <laughs> That's uh, at least 3.5 feet. Hundred and uh, uh, two bucks. I got this. I'll talk about this later. All right, just left a uh, hardware store. This brand is on clearance apparently. This is a Milwaukee cement blade. These, no return. Yeah, no returns. I accept returns because I'm a nice guy. Uh, this is a sixty-five dollar blade I got for thirty, so I'm going to list it for. 55 dollars $55 plus shipping so it's a nice little profit um, yeah not bad and if you're wondering where it says it's uh, written with a marker no returns and no returns I'll show you in the video how to remove that really easy it's super easy so yeah not a bad flip simple green, simple green will do it rubbing alcohol and a napkin will do it all kinds of ways all right, we just stopped at New Life Thrift Store. It was a total bust. Dave got a pepper shaker. I looked, I couldn't find anything, and anything I found was overpriced. So, passed on this one. We did. I did go to the Restore on South Division. Nothing there. So far, everything has been a bust. So, this would have been a better, probably, garage sale day, but you just have to take a chance. So, now we're heading back to the, to the house to shoot some video at Dave's garage.
Okay, I'm back home. What a day. It is so hot outside. I need a haircut bad. Um, so that was my friend Dave. Super nice guy. Recently bought a house, so he's still in the process of unpacking, selling what he doesn't want. So he didn't want me to film in his garage. Um, so I respected his privacy and I didn't do that. But future videos, he said I could film inside his house, show his antiques. He's got some amazing antiques. Um, just unbelievable. Um, and then we're going to do a tear down. He's got like a shed that he wants to get rid of. So we're going to destroy that with sledgehammers. I'll, I'll make a video of that. Um, when his garage is in order, I'll make a video of that. So I hit uh, three thrift stores today. Some with Dave, some without. Total bust. I mean, there's nothing out there. Um, so I don't know if it's because the nice weather, people aren't donating like they do in the winter time. I don't know, but it's about 88 degrees. Super hot out. So I was able to get one nice item, this saw blade. Uh, oops, hit myself in the face. I got this for a really good price and I wanted to talk about hardware bolos or be on the lookout for. So a lot of times hardware stores will just clear out a certain brand for whatever reason they just didn't sign or re-sign a contract or renew a purchase agreement and they just want to get rid of a brand. So they pull it off the shelf, they put it in a bargain bin or a clearance uh, section and they don't advertise it real well, there's not giant signs all over, but you can find them and they're super cheap. So the margins on this are really good. So I did list this for $62 uh, free ship. Could have done $55, $58 in charge shipping, but I just decided let's do $62 free ship. It's light, it's about 10 ounces, so it'll go first class, no big deal. Um, I mean, no more than $350 that I'll have to eat for shipping. And it's open to offer, so maybe somebody will make me an offer. So yeah, keep your eye out. Um, big box hardware stores, mom and pop hardware stores, especially the mom and pops, that gets less traffic. They put stuff on clearance, super cheap. And I, the one I was just at, they had Leatherman pocket tools that were 50% off. Margins are too low, so I didn't get those. And they had other tools too, uh, screwdrivers and tape measures, but the profit margin is just so tiny I didn't bother. But this is really expensive, so I'll, I'll make about 20 bucks on this. I also stopped at a pharmacy. I'll put pictures up here somewhere. And a lot of pharmacies will either have clearance sections, like this one does, like an end cap. Um, you have to be very careful, 75% is not that good. And if it's like protein powder or eye drops, you check the expiration date, a lot of times they're expired. And I just, it's just my policy, I don't sell expired stuff on eBay. You can and put it in the description, but it's probably not going to sell. If it didn't sell in the store, it's probably not going to sell on eBay either. Uh, but they have like shoe inserts and other things that don't have an expiration date. You can grab those. Um, and then other pharmacies will put the clearance items throughout the entire store. So you just have to look for those shelf tags that says 50% off, 90% off. 90% off, I'll grab those all day. Um, even if they're not super expensive, you can make a little bit of money. So hardware stores, look for the clearance items, uh, especially expensive stuff like cordless drills, things like that. You have to figure out what the shipping is on the fly. But if it's something light like this, it goes first class and it's worth a ton of money, that's your gold right there. So that's the video. Thanks for watching. This is the Midwest Picker. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and it helps me out a lot if you subscribe. See you next time.